There's a food fight brewing in uh, Santa Fe, considering a resolution that would open up three parking spaces near the plaza for food trucks. According to the Santa Fe New Mexican, the spots would be available on a first-come, first-served basis. Fair enough. But some are worried this would cause some fierce battles for such a valuable space in a hot tourist zone. Now, Mayor Javier Gonzalez supports the idea and wants to bring more people to the plaza, especially younger people, as he has said publicly many times. The city council has also been working on changes to the permitting process for food trucks. And, Sophie, I love food truck battles. I love mm -hmm. them. I love them. It's mm -hmm. like the thing right now. And I, I get where Mayor Gonzalez is going with this. It's yeah. almost like a, it's like, like a giant billboard. If you have food trucks, you are a groovy and spot. And you potentially know? attracting mm -hmm. a different audience That's than right. is going into the plaza right now. That's so there's right. always going to be, I think, angst between the, the fixed restaurants that are in an area and the food trucks. Mm -hmm. um, the question is, are we actually bringing more people to the plaza who might then eventually say, oh, it's raining tonight, but let's go to that place we've seen. Right. Right. Could there actually be an overall increase in, in restaurant goers in the area? Right. I think that's a possibility. Mm -hmm. And um, But but day to day, restaurant owners are concerned that the food trucks are going to be pulling business away from yeah, them. Absolutely. absolutely. Three three food trucks. That doesn't seem that bad. Why the big kerfuffle is so bad? Yeah, um, well, you know, as a free market guy, I think, you know, the more the merrier. I do have a couple of questions, a little a couple of concerns. First of all, the, the push cart people complain mm. that they get charged $3,000 for their push carts per year by, by the city, right. whereas the food truck people are only going to get have to pay $100. So I think, they, 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 they think they've got an argument there as well. Sure. But you know, kudos to Mayor Gonzalez, because we do need to have a little bit more, especially younger people right. downtown. But That's I don't right. know if you're going to get a whole lot more younger people to come in because of because of food trucks. Nice. I mean, right. it's it's expensive to live in Santa Fe. That's right. why we don't have very very many. Young <laughs> Good point there, John Wertheim. What do you think? Well, I, I agree. I mean, I think that food trucks can be epic. I mean, yeah. the movie Chef was a great example of that. And mm -hmm. and I, I just think um, I, I think it's a good idea. Um, I think the the plaza has changed a lot as a guy who grew up in Santa Fe. It used to be a much more a community place, a little less Disneyfied. Now it's not really a place where you got to remember if you're working down there, which I've done for for many, many years. Mm -hmm. You got to have places to eat for regular workers. We tend to look at things as in a vacuum. We need a bigger nightlife. It's a big reason why I live down here in Albuquerque instead yeah. of Santa Fe. And, and again, Mayor Gonzalez is is trying everything, Janice Arnold Jones. He really kind of sort of gets what John's getting at here. Something has to start moving here. Yeah. So I would like to say that I would like to see food trucks on our Civic Plaza in Albuquerque because there's they no are there. place. They are there. I, but not, I mean, it seems like when I'm down there for lunch, there's nothing there. <laughs> oh. And that's my problem. So, mm -hmm. um, but I'd like to see more. So um, the way, you know, my problem is the way that the resolution is structured. Uh. And so what I can see, because I think there's an opportunity here, it's first come, first serve. I can see cruising food trucks, right. cruising food trucks until we get to park. There would have That's been right. better ways to structure this, <laughs> including at the beginning of the week, straw lots. I mean, right. but right. is it really setting up a very unfair situation for entrepreneurs? Right. Um, because... I, you mean, I, so your best friend in front of a store says you've got this parking spot for your truck until it's time to go over here. It's a tire slash. Actually, Portland went through a bit of that. They had they had a first come first serve basis for one area of the town. That's exactly what happened. Yeah. People started showing up at 3 a.m. <laughs> with, with a lawn chair. Just, this is us. You know, you can't tell me I can't do this. Or about <laughs> you know, yeah. Exactly. Kind of funny.